Consulting Joe here again with another video. Uh, this one is a little bit more programming uh, and some AI. Uh, just getting started with uh, Python and TensorFlow. Uh, this one specifically is an example on how to predict numbers uh, from a couple sequences to predict the next series of numbers. Um, so super simple example um, so let's jump right in so first we're going to just switch into the projects folder and then into this specific project uh, which is uh, the AI so it isn't using node I did try some node stuff but uh, tensorflow just works best on Python so I've got some Python scripts here um, let's see so this is a little demo <clears throat> script this one isn't even really using uh, any AI, but it is using the TensorFlow library, just uh, demonstrating that we can multiply two mat matrices of data, uh, two arrays to uh, get another array with uh, those multiplications. You might need to do this to uh, normalize some of your data, uh, manipulate it before processing. Um, this just kind of makes that easier. Okay, so we run our Python script takes a second because I don't have the most optimized library set up and I'm on a Mac so I'm not getting GPU support unfortunately um, but when we execute that after a second it's going to multiply those and there's our result uh, so 5, 12, 21, 32 and 128 so that's what happens when you multiply that array times that array so just a simple example of manipulating the data uh, but let's move on to a real prediction AI algorithm so here is an example with uh, two arrays uh, an X and a Y and we want to predict the next value for Y when we give it X so uh, we've got a couple libraries tensorflow numphy and then our two arrays and so here is our model where we um, can identify how what the uh, dimensions of the input is and then uh, what type of algorithm and uh, kind of loss detection on our uh, compu computing um, uh, power and then here is our two arrays um, which want they're both single dimensional arrays, but uh, let's go ahead and fix that and make those uh, more of a list. So we'll have a sequence of numbers on the X and a sequence of numbers on the Y, just like uh, the example before where we were multiplying. But these we're going to use to predict the, the next numbers. So in this example, we're going to plug in some numbers and, uh, and then we're going to see if we can figure out what the uh, next number is and see how accurate we can get with that. So here we go. If we if the next number was a 4, a 5, and a 10, what would after 1 be? So let's go ahead and run that. So Python um, first AI, and it's going to take a second, and it ran 200 epochs and figured out 1.5, 1.8 and 3.2 so it really has nothing to go off of to figure out what those numbers are um, so let me just open up that here we are here's that script so if we pass in a list of numbers a sequence so two three four let's keep let's keep it simple and then this one's gonna be a one um, uh, let's say let's if we had some hidden algebra equation between these two numbers that's what we're trying to figure out to predict the, the following numbers so uh, let's say uh, two let's do a simple one so two and then ten three and then fifteen you see the pattern uh, four and then twenty 
obviously, you know, two times five, three times five, four times five. So if we were to predict the next number, single number, we want to feed in a five instead of the two, three, four, then what would be five? So we know that with four, we'd get a 20. So we would figure that with a five, five times five, we'd get hopefully that 25. So let's go ahead and save that and rerun that program again. It's gonna spit out one number, hopefully. And 24.349. So that's really close. Um, it's still, if we were to round, that's not even the right number, but let's, instead of 200 epochs, let's change it to 500. So it's going to process it 500 times and try and process over and over and over and get the best uh, answer. So there we go. So we are now at 24.6, which will round up to 25, which is our answer. Um, what I did here, just to show you, in Python, I uh, took this number, I rounded it, um, and then I took the integer value of it, and that should be our rounded results. Um, not, I'm more of a JavaScript developer than a Python, but um, I can get by. So let's run it again, and hopefully we get just that solid number. Boom! 25 that's the number so so if we want we can still display the unrounded uh, number here by just printing results and then it'll give us the the final um, but let's let's add to this make it a little trickier um, so to let's just throw some random stuff at it but there's got to be some rhyme or reason to it um, otherwise you know we have to be able to check the answer so let's uh, two times let's do a hundred um, let's just do 200 300 so if we pass in a five the pattern should give us a 400. Uh, now, I don't know the algebra to figure that out, but that's why we have AI. It's going to do the work for us. So we run that with 500 epochs, so we should get a pretty good result. 364. It's not really the best result. Uh, I'm going to just do one little thing, see if it makes any difference. We're going to change the epochs to 5,000. And when that runs... There's a lot of loss, but the loss is going down a lot on the right. So now we're really at very low loss, super low. Holy cow, gotta love AI. Look at that, that was our, our guesstimation. We just rounded it, 400. Holy cow, how did it know? What the heck, that's pretty amazing. So if we scroll up in this, we'll see that at this point, I think if we were to just do half of this, 2,500, and not throw as much processing power at that, it's still going to give us that 400 number because it got really good at that loss. See how it starts to run down? At that point, uh, we're really close. So it's still a loss of over one, almost two. So let's just... Frickin' do 2750. And it's still way less than 5,000. So this just is a demonstration to show these capabilities. But this can be applied to vision, audio, anything. Eh, really close. But we're still, we're at under one. Let's just, 3,000 might be our sweet spot for figuring out this. This is a trickier one that it has to really do some math to reverse engineer the, the pattern. All right, there's our loss. Ah, it's so close. I'm just trying to find that sweet spot. 
Let's screw it. Let's, so we're shaving off a thousand from the five thousand, and we run it. So four thousand epochs, and there we go. So that just shows, and and there's different algorithms you can apply this to, different optimizers. I'm just learning myself. Um, what I will say, I did get this from. Uh, this great YouTube series called um, Zero to Hero. Great speaker, great uh, simple way to start understanding the building blocks of AI and uh, machine learning, neural nets. It's it's a really good video series. Uh, Zero to Hero. I'm going to try putting a link uh, up here. Uh, so, but yeah, that's uh, just the the tip of the iceberg i hope to have more videos soon um thanks for watching we can uh do one more quickie uh let's say we just one two three four five six seven eight nine and the next one we'll throw a 10 at and let's say we do 25 50 uh 75 I don't know. Here, let's shave some of this off. Let's just do five of these. Uh, the more the the more data, the better, obviously. So um, I don't know. Let's just see what we get there, and we'll throw a six. Make it simple. Uh, but let's just do one thousand epochs and see how far that really gets us. Uh, and that will wrap it up for this video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more. Um, and let me know if you have any uh, comments or suggestions. So 182, ooh, we were looking for what? Uh, uh, 175, I think. No, no, 200. Yeah, we want 200. All right, 4,000 it is. Here we go. We're, we should be getting like a 200. Uh, loss kind of... See how our loss number just kind of sat at 37 and a half. It really didn't optimize any better past that. So um, it's not perfect. Um, it really, you know, just goes to show the data isn't perfect. And, and it, it could be on me too. Maybe this isn't the best example. But um, if you've got any comments or suggestions uh, or ideas, let me know. Check me out at consultingjoe.com. Like and subscribe for more. Thanks a lot.